When you're done eating bananas, don't throw out the banana peels. There are so many things you can do with them. Banana peels contain vitamins, nutrients, minerals that we're just throwing away on a daily basis. But if people just kind of knew what you can do, the versatile ways to repurpose and reuse and recycle banana peels, I think we could make the planet a better place. Cause I mean, all right, let's just get to it. All right, banana water. So obviously the first step, you wanna get banana peel or more, more than one. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be making some banana bread or something, maybe a treat for the dogs later because I'm gonna end up with like 20 bananas opened after this video. By the way, today I got one, two, three cuts. First thing you wanna do is chop up the banana peels. And you don't really need to do that. You can fit a lot more into the container you're gonna use. By the way, you can also just use a watering can. You can also use empty plastic bottles. I'm using this. Now I'm just gonna demonstrate with one. By the way, I'm also coming off a of cold, so uh... Um, sorry for the little uh, voice. Put the banana peels into your container. Done. And that's it. Leave the peels soaking in the water for, I say in my short video, at least an hour, but the longer the better. I leave them overnight, so at least like 12 hours. 24 hours, even better. Luckily, I have already uh, some banana water in action. I mean, I got some banana water going on already from yesterday. Let me show you guys what that looks like. It's gonna change color right now. It's like blurry white. I don't even know if that's a way of defining white. Okay, here it is. As you can see, it has this nice golden orange tint to it. That's the potassium, phosphorus, calcium, magnesium slowly released into the water. Into the water. Which you can then fertilize your plants with because plants need food too, right? Plants need nutrients and minerals. Normally people go to the store and buy all these products that contain toxic chemicals. By the if you go to the garden store, you'll probably find like five or six aisles of products for growth and boosters and hormones and all kind of toxic, you know. I prefer doing things naturally, preferably at home with stuff that I already got in the house. I'm showing you guys how to stop wasting banana peels and start recycling and repurposing them this way. Literally just directly water your plants. It can cause like fruit flies to come and attack your little uh, plant. Not attack, but like they'll get curious, those little fruit flies. To prevent that, what I like to do is strain the water out and then water my plants. Okay, let's do that. To filter it out even more, I'm gonna use a coffee filter. Whoops, this is what happens every single time. Final product. It looks like a fertilizer, doesn't it? Oh, oh my God. What is wrong with me? Uh, here's actually my ingredients for my next video on uh, Instagram. Whoa, I'm gonna do that next. Whoa. Sometimes I get weird ideas like this. It's so hard to do long form videos after doing short videos for like three years. Oh my God. All right, so once you've soaked your banana peels in water for at least an hour, I've done this for 12, it's gonna look like this, and now it's ready to be fed to your plants. Let me tell you guys a little backstory here, hold on. One day I was eating a banana, and then after I um, ate it, I looked at a banana peel and I said, okay, gotta put it in the compost, you know? That's what everybody normally does. I wanted to see if there was like a quicker way of like extracting or like using the benefits of banana peels and then applying it to my plants. So I just thought like literally like the most simplest thing. What happens if I put it in water and then wait and then uh, water my plants with that water? I had two tomato plants. They were like the same size seedlings, about like three inches. I watered one of them with banana peel water once a week. The other one just plain water. The one that got the banana peel water, it was like magic. Wow. It was just like, what? The same lighting, same watering, besides, you know, adding banana peel in one of them. Banana peel water. And I was so shocked by the growth. And so that's when I decided to make the video and it went viral. I've heard really good feedback from people, my followers. A lot of people have told me that their plants are really happy because of the banana water. So that makes me happy. If people are learning from my hacks, 
You know, if, if something works for me, then that's what I share. A lot of people are like, whoa, where's the proof? Oh, is this proven? I've never read this. I've never seen this. I've never heard about this. Truth is, for something to be proven, it needs to be done by experts and more people so that it can be confirmed, right? But what if I come up with a new idea? I'm only one man, right? I, I'm not enough to prove something uh, scientifically, correct? So in that way, how do you really know what I'm saying is right or wrong? Because it's, there's not enough stats on it, if that makes any sense. I just show you guys where it has worked for me. I focus less on proving it scientifically, but more believing in my experiments and then sharing my results. It's kind of like my process. Ask a question, figure out a solution. Does it work? Then repeat like four times and if it works, then I share it with you guys. Okay, let's get to hack number two. The reason why I chose banana peels to be one of my first real YouTube episodes is because my first ever viral video on TikTok was banana water. There it is, banana fertilizer. Crazy, 3.4 million, October 26, 2020. Potassium, phosphorus, calcium, magnesium into the water. These are things that plants need to flourish. I changed the wording later on in other videos, so now I can't remember what it was like. Whoa! Don't throw out the banana peel. Don't throw out the banana peel. Don't throw out the banana peel. I keep looking at myself. You know what? Never mind. All right, hack number two. You can get your silverware or any like chrome or stainless steel surfaces. You can get them to shine with a banana peel. I'm gonna be doing this so many times. Let me show you guys what it looks like before. It has these marks and stuff. And all you wanna do is just rub the inside of the banana peel onto your silverware like this. And then buff it out with like a paper towel or like a soft cloth. This is what this knife looks like right now. You must be wondering like what goes through my mind to do all these kind of things all day. This is my life guys, this is all I do. I try to figure out new ways to do things and I make a mess every day. And we're just gonna buff it out. Hope you guys are ready. And there's your new spoon. Look at that shine. I didn't even notice that I was doing sound effects. That was a quick one. The next one, I can't really show you, but I can show you what to do. So, banana peels are so awesome for warts. Unfortunately, if you have a wart, no problem. Let's chop up a piece like this. Not that big. Let's just say you have a wart like right there or wherever. You're just gonna put a piece of banana the inside on top, on top of the wart. And then you're gonna use a Band-Aid, and I have a Band-Aid on my finger already. You're gonna put a Band-Aid on top of that, secure it, and leave it there. That's gonna save you a lot of money because wart removal products, they cost so much, guys. This is super effective and super cheap because uh, normally this would be in the trash, right? This is like a win, 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 win if you have warts. All right, we're getting somewhere, but before we continue, I just wanna show you guys something. This is my most prized possession, my first book. My second book, because it's my first YouTube episode, I want to announce that my third book, which will not be on plant hacks, tips and tricks, is coming out in less than a month. You will love it. Oh, hello, 3D printer. Hello there. Oh, hello, my beautiful Bella. I love you. If you don't have my first two books yet, you can still grab them on my website, creativeexplained.com. Oh, by the way, look at this uh, aloe plant I'm experimenting with. Put a bunch of wires on it to see if uh, I can do a crazy design. Okay, so the next one, just like the silverware, you can use the inside of a banana peel to get your leather to shine, whether it's a couch or shoes or jacket, you can get those leather products to shine. Now let me show you guys what I mean. So I got Bella's shoe here, so here's the before. All you want to do is rub it. I just thought of something actually. Towards the end of this video, you're probably going to see daylight, sunrise with the moon. Look at that. I mean, I know it's dense and stuff, and that's another hack, but look at that. Compared to, you see that dullness right there? And then. Like this is almost the same size as my hand. 
<laughs> when she wants to buy shoes, there's never her size, and she normally has to go to like the kids section to find her size. That's just funny. Sorry about that. I tell the world. Next up, we have how to use banana peels to nutrify your hair and let your uh, let your hair benefit from the what. I can't even talk anymore. Actually, you guys ever wonder how my uh, hair looks like this? I use only natural ingredients onto my hair. Let's see what we can do with banana peels when it comes to hair. Because banana peels are packed with potassium, it strengthens your hair and prevents it from breaking and becoming weak. Use that potassium instead of throwing it out. Don't throw out the banana peel, don't throw it out. <laughs> instead, what you wanna do, you're just gonna chop it up a little bit. You're gonna get a blender. This blender I'm about to show you guys is like super famous. In every video I've done using it, people are like, where can I get it, where can I get it? I got it in Europe, so I don't think it's available in many places. I have no idea where it is. I think the top part is upstairs and Bella's sleeping. I don't wanna wake her up, so we're just gonna use this one. It's a regular smoothie blender. All right, so the point is to uh, blend the banana peels and you can add a little bit of water if you need to so it doesn't stick to the blender. You wanna get it nice and mushy like this. That's why I love that little blender. This blender sucks. Okay, that should be good enough. Oh, of course. Oh yeah. It's gonna look like this. This is what you want it to look like. There's two things you could do actually with this mushy banana peel mush. One, you can just take a tablespoon of it and apply it directly on the soil of your plants and then water your plants right after. The nutrients are gonna slowly get released into the soil of your plants. The second thing you can do is take a tablespoon of it like this into another bowl, then add water, one fourth of a cup, should be good enough. Mix it up and boom! What you have right now is a natural, homemade, do-it-yourself, recycled hair conditioner. This is gonna make your hair feel really great. In the shower, apply it on your hair, on your scalp, massage it in, get it all over, leave it on for about five, 10 minutes, and then wash it off, you know, with shampoo or just water. Try this out for yourself and you'll see what I mean. You can do one more thing with this uh, mixture here. One to one ratio, so one tablespoon of that and one tablespoon of honey. Oh yeah, look at that. Fresh, raw honey. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up. All right, what you have now is a natural, homemade face mask that's gonna leave your skin feeling super soft and refreshing and nourished and hydrated. So apply it on your face just like this. Already oh, feels great. Rub circle emotions. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. You can eat this. What face mask do you know at the store that you can eat? Why am I still doing sound effects? I'm gonna rinse this off my hands. Five to 10 minutes. You can leave it a longer if you want. You'll just feel the effects. I wish I could transfer the way that it, this feels on your skin onto you guys, but I can't. So you guys are gonna have to try this for yourselves. I have to finish this episode before Bella wakes up. Okay. <sighs> that wasn't even on for like more than a minute and it still feels great. Let's go to the next hack. I'm still a little bit sick, so <laughs> I'm gonna make some tea. <laughs> By the way, it's 5.22 in the morning. Bella is sleeping, Bijan is sleeping, my dogs are sleeping. The reason why I chose to stay awake and do this first YouTube episode is because I've been telling Bijan and Bella the past like week, I'm doing the episode today, I'm doing the episode today, I'm doing the episode today. And then I just move on to like a million other things. I was like, you know what? Tomorrow, Armin, if you wake up, and when you wake up, if you wake up, I hope I wake up. When you wake up, you're gonna be, let's do something new, let's make a new video, let's do this, let's do that. And then I'll get caught up in a million other things. So the best time to do this episode, I told myself, is like right now, just get to it. Do it overnight, sacrifice your sleep just for this one time, and then prove to Bella and Bijan that you can do an episode. So that's what I'm doing, let's do it. Can I do it? 
Okay, so this next thing, banana peels, they contain this compound called malic acid. Malic acid actually can help break down surface stains in your teeth, that layer of over time buildup. All you have to do is just rub the inside of the banana peel on your teeth like this. Mmm, better than throwing it out. And when we're done with that, <laughs> Big banana water or whatever. Just don't throw it out. Plus it tastes really good. I mean, it's not gonna whiten your teeth like those whitening strips will from the store, but it's better than not doing it. I haven't personally experimented enough with the banana peel because I have another teeth whitening mixture that I use with the uh, kiwi and cucumber. That's more effective. If anybody wants to experiment out there, like a 30 day experiment where they rub the inside of a banana peel on their teeth and see the difference, that would be awesome. Do it and I'll repost it. Okay, let's move on. The next hack. By the way, I recently decided that I wanted to learn violin, so I got a violin. Actually, I actually have two violins. Let's see if I uh, learn it. Okay, the sun is coming up, guys, and the final thing I'm gonna show you guys what you can do with banana peels is banana tea. Banana tea is so beneficial for your immune system, and it has so many other advantages. I'll tell you guys about it after I show you guys how to make it. The first thing you wanna do, chop up the banana peels, as always. Then place the chopped peels into your favorite mug. Add boiling water, let it steep for about five to 10 minutes, and that's it. Enjoy yourself some banana tea. Banana tea is rich in antioxidants, vitamins, potassium, and drinking banana tea actually helps with bloating. And if you're anything like me, the best part of banana tea is that it helps you sleep. So if you drink some banana tea before bed, you'll feel the effects of it putting you at ease. My brain keeps going. It's uh, 6.45 in the morning and I'm still awake. Oh, wow. Wow, try drinking this before bed and see what it does for you. Let me know in the comments if it works for you. Otherwise, just drink it for its other benefits. Banana tea, super delicious. All right, so there's about five more things that I can show you guys. Five other hacks with uh, banana peels. I'm gonna wait on that because I feel like this episode is gonna be already too long. Let's see how this episode does, if it even um, reaches people and if people you find this helpful. If this was even worth my time, I guess. If it's not worth my time, then I'd rather just do my short content, which takes actually longer because it's kind of a challenge to fit all this information into one minute. This is just a test run, guys. My future video is gonna be a lot better than this. I just wanted to start my new year with some kind of long form content on YouTube. So here it is, what you can do with banana peels. When you're done eating bananas, which I'm gonna have to eat a lot of them today, when you're done eating bananas, don't throw out the banana peels. Recycle them, repurpose them. It'll help Earth, it'll help you, maybe help you save some money, and it can help your plants, help your skin. But in the end, just throwing them out is a waste. Let's do better, guys. I think together we can make the planet a lot better than what it is. This is just banana peels that I'm showing you guys. Imagine the impact we can have on the world if we just started to recycle and repurpose most of the things that were throwing out in the trash. Like I made eggs earlier and I did not throw the peels. I don't throw a lot of things out. I hope you guys learned a few things uh, in this video. And if you guys want me to continue making videos like this, please let me know in the comments. I've been contemplating whether or not I should say this in this video, the whole subscribe and, and like thing. Uh, I'm not actually. And I'm gonna continue creating and coming up with new creative ways to do things. Stay positive. I love you guys. Creative Explain out. Almost dropped my phone.